Welcome back to SKMR. Still a late night. Final event of the night, and then we get to go to bed. It is going to be the true figure eight cars here on this little tiny track. I'm going to go over the lineup. We're going to go inside to outside, uh, front to rear here. Looks like not as many cars as in the earlier events, so they should go a little bit quicker. On the inside, they're all the way down in front in the pickup truck, number 99 for Redline Racing. That's Mishi Rossini. Next to him in the Gremlin, number 14 for the Sleepy Bunch, Candy Tomorrow. And... Wow, my inflection was messed up there. Just outside of her, number 98 for Lead Paw Motorsports in the Ford Falcon. That is Kibo Monroe. And next to Monroe, number 77, no team listed, Lucido Avon. Outside of Avon, in another one of those cars that looks like the uh, last two there, number 22 for Local Dog Racing, the guy who actually built that body style, Kaz Freshy. And back from there, you're going to find number 2X, F. Fred Coolhoven. Uh, he's for FK Auto Sports, and just outside him, way up there by the wall, in the El Camino, number six, Falk Rao for Local Dog Racing. Back a row from there, Doucha Foxtail for the Sleepy Bunch in the Oscar Mayer Wiener Machine, and starting shotgun on the field, number 18 in the Camaro, Zaria Falconer. So it looks like everybody's registered there, so I'm going to toss it over to Quick, uh, Cato, either or, and he's going to go over the point standings for you. All right, here's the point standings for the true. Um... Uh, leading the points, there's a tie for the lead right now between Candy Tomorrow and Kaz Freshy with 96 points. And we have Falk Rao with 84 points. There's a tie for fourth between Kibba Monroe and Zaria Falconer with 82 points. There's also a tie for sixth between F. Fred Kulhoven and Mishi Rossini with 78 points. After that, there is Hemi Lover Sock with 74 points. Then Lucito Avon with 68 points. Then Suku Ming with 44 points, Bill Padala with 30 points, and rounding out the point standings in 12th is Doucha Foxdale with 28 points. All right, so we're just about ready to go. 30 laps of just crazy, crazy figure eight racing here at SKMR. I believe everybody's registered. I'm double checking that right quick. We don't want to miss anybody. I think one is missing on the gate, so while we're waiting on that, uh, what do you expect to see in this particular event? I expect to see death. <laughs> there will be a lot of death. <laughs> so let's see who's going home in a body bag. Ten seconds to green. I see a lot of people hitting that wiener in the intersection. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing you don't want to see is that wiener coming up behind you. <laughs> and we're already through the right-hander. Look at Rossini out front. Wow. He's gapped the field by, what, eight car lengths? He's definitely listened to some polka. Yeah, he is. He's listened to some fast punk polka here. And uh, the 14 Candy Tomorrow, who's proved to be pretty much invincible in this class, uh, she is second right now trying to catch up to him. He's going to have to negotiate intersection traffic. Already got and some cross, six, cross over traffic, oh. I guess. And there it was. Mishi Rossini collected the 2X. Yep. Matter of fact, he lost second as well as Monroe bashes his way up there and oh, runs takes Falk Rao out. out. <laughs> and this is this is what we talk about every week. You can use the brakes to the intersection. I don't think Kibo Monroe really uh, takes that one to heart when he watches it on YouTube. But uh, you, you can kind of slow down in the intersection and let the other cars go so you don't get, you know, kind of plastered to the uh, front stretch wall there. Mm -hmm. Some drivers do it, some don't. You can definitely tell who's the veteran in this style of racing, Candy Tomorrow. She makes it look really easy. Watching Freshies coming up through the field, as well as Falconer. Right as they talk about him, he gets nailed by Efraid Kulhoven in the intersection. There's a battle at second. Three cars, Falconer, Rossini, and Monroe. Monroe's running the middle. The other two are swapping the inside and the outside here. Oh, big, big crash oh. in the intersection. Avon looks, looks like, like he has yeah. stuck to Monroe. Having a little love in there on the front scratch. Yeah, oh, and he backs into the intersection. Wow. Luckily he didn't hit anybody. <laughs> I don't know how they missed him there. We are eight laps of 30 in, and things have already gotten just wild. So tomorrow continues to lead. She's coming up to put a lap on Monroe there as they dodge around Kaz Freshy, who I, I would like to mention he used the brakes there. You, you can actually do that. <laughs> Notice he doesn't get hit and killed in the intersection. Looks like a battle between Zariel Falconer and Mishi Rossini for second. 
And those two black cars working into the right-hander right now. Falconer's on the inside. Rossini's on the outside. As Freshie's trying to catch up to him there, he is in fourth. He's in heavy, heavy lap traffic right now. So your leader tomorrow is actually crossing that battle you were talking about. She's going just behind Zarya Falconer when they come through. Yeah. And she's, she's getting, getting closer, it looks like. So that'd be big. Oh, tomorrow oh. checks a 98 Monroe. Monroe was running as high as second earlier. He has now dropped all the way down to sixth, one lap down after that incident with uh, Lucido Avon. Candy kind of uses, if she knows she's going to get hit, she speeds up and kind of bounces off the front end of their car, and it, she doesn't get affected very much. Yeah, it's a good strategy if, I mean, you can especially anticipate a lot of these people aren't going to break. Yeah. So it's like you just saw right there she yeah, did exactly, exactly that because she knew it was Lewis. Lewis isn't going to stop. So even though it slows her down a little, it doesn't slow her down as much as it would. So I think I think she's got the right idea as far as that goes. She's coming up to lap lap the second place kind of pack going on here. Oh yeah, there's two black cars still battling for second. Falconer and Rossini. Tomorrow is in some heavy traffic, but she's right there, like you said. Uh, she's got to get around Avon and Foxdale. And she then just did. Wow, that Fred Kuhlhoven got a little happy in the intersection there. So we approach 20 laps. Change at 7th. Rao has just taken that away from Kuhlhoven. Now he sets his sights on Kibo Monroe. Uh, most of the rest of the field pretty even. Uh, Freshy doing battle with Foxdale. That's for 4th. And those two are catching that second place battle, which it looks like has turned in favor of Falconer at the moment. Looks like tomorrow just put third place Mishi Rossini down a lap. She's working on the whole field here. There's still ten laps left to go. She could feasibly put a lap on the entire field if she can catch up to Falconer. She puts Monroe down another lap. Yeah, she's right there behind Falconer now. She gets around Rao, and uh, we see the Avon's holding up Falconer a bit. This could get big. Looks like Rossini's slipping back through the field. He gets stuck with F. Fred Kulhoven coming out of the right-hander. Freshy uh, works his way around him. And tomorrow just put the whole field a lap down. That's a good cushion to have, especially in a <laughs> yeah. track as crazy as this, you know. You never know what's going to happen. You could get hit nose-to-nose -nose with Lucido Avon and end up sitting there for about 30 seconds. So it's, mm -hmm. it's a great cushion to have. Well, something's wrong with Rossini. He just got put down another lap. And he is really fading here. Looked like he just ran straight into the inside wall there as Candy Tomorrow came up behind him. And now Freshy gets tagged in the intersection. That's an unusual thing to see. Uh, but that slowed him up a little bit. He's got to get back up there on that battle. He's trying to get up there and pass Foxtail in the Wienermobile, as well as Falconer, who just got into him in the intersection. So he's got a way to, ways to go right now here with three laps left. Yeah, looking at his car, it looks like he's really damaged. He's really slow. It can sort of be an advantage on a track of this size, in that you don't have to worry about keeping the car down and doing the dance between the throttle and the brake. If you can just fly through the corner. Oh, wow. wow. That was Big the hit. Avon and Sorry, a Falconer. Sorry, a Falconer. Falconer. It's going to be white flag out for Candy yep. tomorrow. So she's just got to get through the intersection one more time there in front of Falk Rao. I'm dealing with Lucido Avon. <laughs> this could get big. You don't want to be on the outside of him. She goes down to the inside, takes the checkers, waiting on that second place battle to come around. And looks like Falconer is going to come home second. Then Foxdale, Freshy, Monroe, Rossini, Rao, Kulhoven, and Avon rounding out the field. So that's going to be it for us tonight on a very late night at SKMR, uh, but definitely a fun one. Yeah, it was a really fun race. All right, so we're going to go pass out some prize money and some trophies, and then we're going to be on out of here. So we'll see you next week. we got more dirt racing. Uh, this Wednesday, we're going to bring you the Country Stock Race from the venerable fairground speedway that should be a pretty exciting one too yeah so we'll uh we'll see you for that quick and i are going to be in cars in that one and uh doucher fox jail and kaz freshy will be bringing you all of the country stock action this wednesday we'll see you then see you later